you guys find flying donkeys? I'm going to lift this end of the thing, and then can you get that wood thing out of there, and then can you move this pipe thing? All right, let me just make sure I can't move it. Not too much. I think I'm going to move this thing on its side so I'm not constantly worried about it tipping over because it's, it's stable like this. My first thought was to slide it that way because I wanted to end up right over there. Uh, but then when I actually looked, I decided I think I want to come this way because the concrete wall starts there, the seawall, and it goes like all the way through where I want to go through. So I'm thinking skip the whole concrete wall deal just go right around it and then at high tide I should be able to float the thing right over there under my drawbridge either that one or the other one uh, over to where I want it to go yeah I don't think it's gonna be that hard I just have to keep it keep the weight on tires the whole time so it doesn't end up getting all scratched up on a rock or something and I've got three tires here I think I might be able to find another one or two around Oh wait, I've got four tires. One there, one there, one over there, and then one under the middle. Yeah, cool, that should be enough. Now if I get real desperate for more, I can take them from under here, but I'd rather leave that on there if possible. All right, I think I'm just gonna try to slowly inch this whole thing this way. All right, this may be a uh yank on it with increasing amounts of force until it moves operation. Oh, it's totally moving. Cool. Do that like 450 more times. getting ready to like power up to like maximum strength and stuff but this is like some kind of buttercup challenge not a real challenge I'll have to make a heavier boat next time Thinking I was gonna need extra people and stuff. This will be in the water in 20 minutes.
right, that's looking good. None of my important surface is looking like it's going to get scratched at all. And my tires are protecting mostly, but if the, the, the side on the other side gets scratched a little, that's okay. Cause it's still going to be painted and blah, blah, blah. I just don't want to mess up the part that'll be below water. Ooh, touchdown. Did your boat fall in the water? What's that? Did your boat fall in the water? Yeah, my boat fell in the water, man. It was really hard to get it to do it, too. Actually, it went a lot smoother than I was expecting. Now oh, the bugs are coming out. I better light a fire or hurry up. You want some termite plywood? Yum. So is that all done? Almost. Chris, it's all done. It's not all done. It needs to go over there. Aren't you going to ask me a fancy question? So is it all done? No. The question you asked me before you turned the camera on. No. So you're going to wait till high tide and just float it on out there? Yeah, right over there. Good thing I have those drawbridges, eh? Yeah, eh? All right, let's go swimming. I'm going swimming anyway. I don't care what you do. Yeah, that's a nice touch there. Tire hanging right on the end of the thing. Whoa, big empty space. Uh, I guess that's where you go next. All right, I'm getting out of here right now. Swim time! I was totally not expecting to get that thing in the water today. <laughs> <laughs>